Hello, everyone, and welcome to Sincerely Jacqueline. Today, guys, we have a Dollar Tree a dupe from Restoration Hardware. I absolutely love that store. I think it has really pretty unique pieces, but I don't necessarily like the price. Um, so today we're going to be duping their um, moss bowl. I was inspired by the items from Restoration Hardware. They have several succulent and moss bowls there. I really love the concrete base with the greenery. I think it really adds a very modern but interesting touch to any decor. As you can see, guys, the price is quite steep. They range from, from what I'm seeing, over $100. And this DIY today is just going to be $8. So you're gonna be able to make this DIY for $8 or less. If you like what you see, keep watching. So for this DIY, you're going to need a plastic bowl. I got mine from the Dollar Tree. As you can see, it is spray painted black because I was working on another DIY that did not work out. You're also gonna need some wallboard joint compound. I got this from Walmart, but the Dollar Tree does sell something similar. Um, I think they have it as spackling. You're also gonna need some floral moss and you are going to need some succulents and some floral foam. So before applying the compound to your plastic bowl, you want to sand down the, the bowl really, really well, just so the joint compound sticks to it very well. As you can see here, I'm applying the compound with a popsicle stick, and you wanna apply a thin layer onto it and build up as you go. Now you wanna apply the compound to the outside of the bowl and the top rim of the bowl. Next, you want to allow the bowl to dry for a couple hours. So once your bowl is dry, you just want to sand down your bowl so it's a bit smooth. I'm using a sanding block from the Dollar Tree. Now I didn't want to sand all the texture away, I just wanted to sand the jagged parts on the bowl. Next, I just took some black and white paint and mixed it into a dark gray color. And then I'm taking a sponge and I'm dabbing on it onto the bowl to create a concrete look. This is very similar to the DIY that I did in my last video. So if you would like to see how I use the same technique to create a galvanized look, please head to the description box. Now don't forget the top of the bowl and the rim of the bowl as well. So next you want to mix up a lighter color of gray and you want to apply it to your bowl. And you also want to paint 
the inside of the bowl with your sponge. You also want to um, paint the inside rim of the bowl just in case it shows. And then I just took a little bit of paint and I took a paintbrush and I just cleaned up some of the areas that I missed. Now I'm just layering a darker gray color onto my bowl. So I'm just taking some Mod Podge and I'm just putting it on, applying it to the rim of the bowl. I found that the drywall compound was really flaking off in this area, most likely because it has a very little surface area. So I'm just putting some Mod Podge there just to seal the area and prevent future cracking. Now I did not have to apply it to the full bowl because I found that there was no cracking to that, those areas. Next, I just took some floral foam and I just applied it to the bottom of my bowl. Here you see me using a hot glue gun, but in the end, I went back and used E6000 because I found that it was a better hold. Next, I'm just taking some foam board and I just cut it into the circle to fit inside the bowl and I'm just gluing it on to my floral foam. Now you wanna grab your floral moss and you just wanna apply it to the top of your foam board. So next you want to grab some succulents and you want to insert it into your foam board. And I got these succulents from the Dollar Tree. Now what I end up doing was again, reinforcing the floral foam with E6000 so that the top part did not move. And here it is guys, the final product. As you can see, I just added some black pebbles from the Dollar Tree, just to add a little bit of interest, but I absolutely love the final product. I think that the bowl looks like it's concrete and that this was a pretty good dupe slash inspiration from the restore, Restoration Hardware Moss Bowl or Succulent Bowl that they had on their website. So here is a side-by-side -side comparison to the two. Mine cost about $8 or less. The Restoration Hardware um, Moss Bowl slash Succulent Bowls cost over $100. So if you guys like what you see, please give this video a thumbs up. Um, please leave your comments below and subscribe for more videos from me. Don't forget to hit the alarm button so you know when I upload my next video. I hope you guys love this dupe. And also for more information about this DIY, please head to my blog at www.sincerelyjacqueline.com. I will have a list of all the supplies that I used and detailed instructions written in a blog post. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, bye.